Hi, this is Steve Bragg, and this is a review of some video clips taken underwater during a recent dive trip to Bonaire, which is off the coast of Venezuela. Now we're starting off at the Buddy Dive Resort, which has a unique drive-through system where you take your rental pickup truck, drive through either of these two lanes, and you can drop off your old scuba tanks, which you've just used. And here's someone taking off some nitrox tanks. And then wash up the gear you just got all salty during your last dive. That's me rinsing everything off. And then when you're done with that, you go around the corner to a large area where you can grab new tanks, which have already been filled with, in this case, nitrox. You can see those in the background. And we take a break at the local supermarket before we go off to another shore dive. And we have a wonderful lunch involving Coke Zero and real Coke and some sort of Dutch pastries. Now, getting underwater. Most of the diving in Bonaire involves very small fish, but there are also a couple of very big ones, at least one monster one that we see right here. This moray is extremely large, and as we got closer, we realized how large, and so we started to back off. This guy, if you look above where the head is, you can see the rest of it going off into the coral behind him. And then we got a separate video of him out in the open, going around searching for some food, and realize that this is about a nine foot long moray, which is about as big as they come. Also, you might have just seen him pause in flight. That's because he bounced off of a lionfish. And there he goes. Also, here's a somewhat smaller moray. This is perhaps five or six feet long, and we caught him on a separate part of the reef, and so we're tooling along next to him to see what he does. Most morays stay pretty deeply buried in the coral, and this is a rare case where they're moving out in the open during the uh, sunlight hours. Now, there are different types of eels. Here we have a snake eel, much smaller, usually with white spots. And unlike morays, these tend to come towards you to see what's going on, which means you end up being very good at finning backwards to stay out of the way. This guy comes along for a bit and then peels off to the right to see if he can find any food in one of these little side holes. Also, we have groups of blue tangs, sometimes mixed in with other types of fish. The blue tangs are the ones with the yellow dot near the base of the tail. And they get together kind of like biker gangs and go after the coral and start chewing on it in a mad swarm. And then as you get closer, they all peel off and go on to the next piece of unsuspecting coral to continue working on their lunch. In this case, they're just going right along the reef, just picking on various pieces of it. And this leads to a lot of chewed up looking coral all over the reefs. Also, you can find swarms or other types of fish underneath the uh, nearby piers. And if you go down there, you can duck right into these groups of fish and kind of sail along with them. And in this case, as the camera peels off to the right, you'll see a staircase entering the water, and that's how you get in from this particular dive resort. Also, some of the fish tend to go along in large streams. In this case, we have two separate lines of fish going right by us and off into the distance, frequently involving hundreds or even thousands of fish. And also, looking overhead, you can see clouds of fish. These are a bit more unconsolidated, and there can be tens of thousands of these small ones floating over your head. Also, we have trunkfish. These little guys, who are quite cute, like to chomp on the coral. And here you can see him chomping on it and then vacuuming the residue out through his gills, which kind of looks like a combination of a vacuum cleaner and a lawnmower. Anyways, one thing about Bonaire is the fish are not being actively attacked by fishermen, and that's because of the regulations of the marine park there. And so they're very much not concerned about divers. And so they just continue upon their daily activities while you're sitting maybe two feet away taking pictures like this. And here is a baby trunk fish. This guy's maybe three inches across and almost no discernible fins. It's amazing they can get around at all. And of course, you have to have the obligatory turtle photo. This guy's not overly concerned. Here he is getting away, but wait, let's look under this outcropping and see if there's any food down there. And there isn't, so he'll continue his escape route, and off he goes. 
And then we have damselfish, which are very, very territorial. And sometimes you'll be sitting there and something will whack you in the ear, or in this case on the hand, or sometimes on your face mask. And it's these guys establishing their territory. Uh, we've had cases of this out in the Pacific where they hit you so hard in the ear, it's like you're being whacked with a hammer. And finally, there is a coral restoration project in Bonaire, where in this case, they're growing staghorn coral on some floating uh, lattices in the water. This is in about 10 to 15 feet of water. And this is used to regrow coral. So, hope you liked our view of the Bonaire diving situation.